Thank you very much. My name, as you said, is Dean Bortel. I'm here representing myself, my family, and above all, my nine-year-old daughter, Alexis, and I'm testifying for House Bill 3785. But before I get into this, I want to call to attention that I should not be here testifying before you. It should be my daughter who's in exile in Colorado because she's sick. She's watching tonight, and I just want to tell her that I love her and that Daddy will see you as soon as he can. I'm a disabled veteran, conservative Christian Republican voter, but above all, I'm a father. Alexis was healthy nearly the first seven years of her life. She was never sick. That all changed July 8, 2013, when she had her first seizure. Alexis was diagnosed with epilepsy after a stay in the hospital and began the first of many pharmaceuticals. For the next year, her medication and diagnosis changed many times, but every drug made her worse, some much worse. By the summer of 2014, her life had degraded so far she could barely attend school. Her days were filled with visits to the nurse's office for spasms, headaches, seizures, falling, you name it. She was almost incapable of taking care of herself. We were at a breaking point as a family. She was at a breaking point as a kid. There was no help available. We tried everything. And then one night, my wife happened to see the CNN, doctor, the CNN documentary by Dr. Sanjay Gupta, which focused on treating intractable epilepsy with cannabis extracts, oils. We traveled to Colorado that summer to speak with specialists, neurologists, doctors, everyone we could meet with to see if this medicine might be able to help her where all other pharmaceuticals had failed. It was our intent to return to Texas to work the legislative process so that we could get medicine at home. We are Texans, all of us. Time, however, was not on our side. After a horrific eight-minute seizure in February of this year, we made the decision to relocate my wife and my daughters to Colorado to begin immediate cannabis whole plant extract treatment. But it's a strain called Haley's Hope and THC oil. She went 33 days seizure and symptom free after the first dose. That record was only broken by the flu. Anyone who deals with someone with epilepsy knows illness makes it worse. It would have likely killed her in Texas. God has a plan for Alexis. She didn't end up in the hospital. She didn't end up in an ambulance. She was home. We didn't even have to administer rescue medicines. But it's important to state that she needed THC and CBD oil for her treatment. I am one of a handful of people in this chamber with experience treating intractable epilepsy with pharmaceuticals and when they failed, whole plant medical cannabis extracts. I can tell you without question, without reservation, that cannabis has given my daughter her life back. Last weekend, she rode a bike for the first time in her life. House Bill 3785 is the only medical cannabis bill that will allow Alexis to return home. Not only her, but all other Texas refugees. All of us. Texas's laws regarding medical cannabis no longer reflect scientific realities of the world. My family's been torn apart because Alexis is sick. This isn't right. My wife and I both served our country out of the deep respect for the people and its values. Now we are asking our state to respect the sanctity of our family and help us to return home. Please show the world that Texas cares about the sick and that we aren't afraid to put science over propaganda and ideology. Thank you. Thank you. Questions, members? Well, thank you to you and your wife for your service to our country. Yes, ma'am. And our very best wishes for your daughter. Thank you very much. Thank you for taking the time to come.